Hey, sneak close back in the house, back in the house, back in the house at half term. Right, today guys, we have KD Neon. Now, remember we did Kubuntu a while ago, didn't we? And this is also an Ubuntu-based distro, but it's quite different, to be honest with you. I didn't think it was the same. It was similar, but nowhere the same, okay? Now, as you know, I'm a bit of a KD virgin. Not really been my cup of tea over the years, but, you know, after using a few of these, I'm growing to like it. Especially this one. This is really, really, really good. Smooth-ish. A couple of problems. I'll come to them in a minute. Uh, we're just having a quick look through again, as I said before. We're not going to be here 15, 20 minutes. 10 minutes at max, I reckon. <clears throat> Maximum. Excuse me. Allergies are coming back already, and it's not even summer, or spring, or end of winter. So, on our base bath KDA, we have Pika Desktop, Time and Date, Show Hidden Icons, my Ethernet, and my volume, okay? Now here, a standard would normally be the Firefox icon, but I've changed it for Chrome, and I'll come to that in a moment. Then we have our file manager. I'll open it up for you so you can quickly see. As you can, I've got one thing in the downloads, where I've got Google Chrome from, okay? Next is Discover, which is their app center or software center. Then we've got system settings. Then we've got our menu, okay? So first of all, we're going to go to our system settings. And we'll click there, and up it comes. And very nice it is too. Now I've changed from Breeze to Breeze Dark because the ordinary Breeze is really, really bright, to be honest with you. Too bright for me. What else have we got here? Well, quite a lot actually. We'll start at the top. All our workspace behavior, our shortcuts, our start up and shut down menus, notifications, regional settings, applications, backups, KD wallet, blah, 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 online accounts, connection settings, and our firewall. Input devices, displays and monitors. If you're going to use it in the box, you're going to need that. The audio and power management. Bluetooth, KDE Connect. Mm, I'm starting to like that on GNOME or GNOME. Print, oh, will it connect to my printer? I'll give that a go. Add a new printer. Because the last one didn't. Did. Oh, it wants me to do that. Men oh, no, here we go. Uh, scroll down. Oh, it wants me to choose that. No, which is a trouble I before because I can't remember what protocol it's running at. Shall I try? No, I won't even bother because I had trouble last time. But again, KDE is completely different from all the other systems I've used. It has trouble con connecting immediately to what I want it to connect to. Can't be helped, can it, I suppose? Removal storage, Chunderbolt, about this system and software update. So we'll check for updates. Oh, no, okay. That's just it's doing your settings for checking your updates. Then you update software manually. That comes as standard. Hmm, different, okay. Right. <clears throat> when I go into internet, as you can see, Firefox is here. If I go to open it, it really, really struggles. It really, really struggles to show anything on the screen. Now, this may be a virtual box problem, or it may be a KDE problem, or a Firefox problem. So, to get Google Chrome, I went to and got the ungoogled Chromium. I'll click it here for you. I wonder what this was. I thought it was just Chromium on its own, but no, they stripped a lot of the search stuff out of it. So, there's no search stuff in it as such. Okay, as such. But if you put the full web address in, so if I put in... Um, www.google.com it'll go to google you have to accept everything of course and there you are you're in okay quickly get rid of that Hang on a second anyway i'll just have a quick drinkage as i've got no work this week it's great after mm. tonight guys we have a bit of elvis juice and this is the next coffin in the background okay uh, menu itself Okay, so if we we'll go back to the internet again, the connectors here is connect SMS is here. I'm going to give that a try later. Graphics, what do you get? You just get an image viewer and a document viewer. So you don't get too much here, do you really? Multimedia, just VLC, but that's all you need. You can put all the other stuff in as you want it, can't you really? Office, only ocular. You will have to download your own office suite. So we're going to give that a go in a minute, okay? Settings again, system. So if we go to our system monitor, and hopefully it won't chug. That should be fine. We'll give it a go. There we go. So we're using 1.1 gigabytes of memory. That could be a box issue, more than likely. Our disk usage, our CPU, and other stuff you might want to look at. Okay. So we'll get out of that. See you later. Next, what else do we get? Uh, circuit system, utilities. Okay. 
archive into emoji selector. I really don't get that. You get K write as your text editor and spectacle for screenshots. Then you get help section, which I don't know what it is. So, <clears throat> we're going to go to Discover, which is their software center, as I said before, and let that open. And we're going to, what are we going to look for? I forgot now. Oh, I know, an Office program. So if I type in only Office, I'm, just, I'm trying to spruce it up, not keep going to the normal one circuit, guys. So only Office, and that's what we get. Now remember, you, this is uh, flat pack enabled as well. Oh, I'm not finding it. So if it's on the flat pack, we should find it. Um, not finding it. No, 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 no. I have known disc. What about if I just put in R? Oh, I'll say what. This would be a better idea. If I went to Office, wouldn't it really? Okay, we'll come out of that. We'll just go here. We'll refresh that. No. Let it refresh. That's a little bit better. Now, what other office stuff will I have here, do you think? Well, there's plenty of it. Red Notebook, LibreOffice Suite. I don't want to do the LibreOffice Suite. I want to do something else. But I could be here all day. Only Office Desktop Editor. It's a flat pack. I'm going to install that. Okay. And it's installing. Didn't it ask me for my password? That's a weird, isn't it? We're at 21%. I'm just going to turn the fan up on the main system. Not that it's uh, particularly warm. But because I'm like that. It's just the way it is. Mm. Very nice, Mr. Elvis Juice. <clears throat> so, this is Discover. So just, you know, Discover stuff. That's what's in the name. Get lots of sections here, science and engineering, multi-mip. I think it could be an easier one to use than some of the known ones, or GNOME, whatever you call it. But yeah, seems okay. We'll just wait for it to install, then we're going to go and find it and open it, hopefully. Right, it's installed. So if we just knock that back, we go back to our menu. Remember, you can put desktop shortcuts on the desktop if you want so. Go to Office, and here's only Office. We'll wait for that to booty uppy. And we'll go to document, yeah. That's good, that's good enough for me. Load in my document. Yeah, that's super. I'm happy with that. Nice. So you can get everything you really need yourself. I mean, I like distros like that. That don't come with everything you actually never need and you have to end up taking it out, which is a big problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, one of the things about KDE is all your widgets, okay? And I, I couldn't help myself. I'm going to have to do this. So if we right click and we go to add widgets, we're just going to get a widget and add it, okay? That's all. And we're going to go with the analog clock. That's super duper. Fine by me. How do I move it? Well, you highlight it. Not like that. You right click it. And we want to go into edit mode. And we should be able to bring it over here. That's it. That there. That's good for me. We're done. That's nice and simple, isn't it? If you want a, a clock like that. Remember, under the widgets, there's loads and loads. If I just go here one more time, as we're nearly the end, I reckon there's a widget for everything. It's got a widget. A widget it's got. So, look, night colour controls are all here for you. They've actually installed loads of these bits for the add-ons for KDE, which is not a bad idea. Uh, oh, what else can I add to the clock? So if we go to Configure, we can show the second hand and the time zone we're in, we we'll apply that and OK it. That is nice. I like it. So KDE Neon. I'm quite impressed. I'm going to keep coming back and have a look. I've got loads of these to do, and I this week. Didn't do anything last night. Couldn't be bothered. But on the first looks and opinions and what I like to see and what I'm seeing, super duper. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.